welcome to today's lower body workout. We're gonna be focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings. We're gonna jump right in if you want to add a chair for balance purposes. That uh, may be an option or you can add a, some surface like a countertop or a railing or even a wall, okay? Starting with our first movement, we're gonna come down in a glute bridge. We've done this quite a bit in on beat cardio lately, so it's gonna be feel very familiar. We're gonna step out those feet as far as you can, drop the hips, and then bring it back in. At that halfway mark, we're gonna switch leading feet. So maybe you start with your right, and then switch, or the other way around, all right? Next up, we have our dumbbell kickback. This is another familiar one. If you do not have dumbbells, or you don't wanna use dumbbells for this workout, please use something as a focal point to squeeze because you're gonna make this into a complex movement rather than a single plane movement. And it's gonna do more for your body in the time that you're spending working out. So just trust me, do it. Grab a water bottle, even a towel rolled up, something squishy, that works really, really well. We're gonna start, if you want, I'm gonna show you two options. This is a version that's easy on the knees. You're gonna activate that other leg a little bit more. If you want something that's more uh, specific on the glute, I'll show you that in a moment. We're gonna lift up, squeeze, bring that elbow into your elbow, or your knee into your elbow, and then push it back up. Squeeze through, bring it in. We're keeping that knee as elevated as you can. The more weight you have, the harder that's gonna be. But we're keeping it nice and lifted. You can point or flex, doesn't matter. All right, next, try the other side, squeeze, through, lift, bring that elbow into the, or the knee into the elbow. I keep switching, I don't know why. Squeeze, press it up. Notice how I have a little bend in my standing leg. My back is flat. You wanna make this a ground exercise. You can do the same movement on the ground. Lift up and squeeze. We're just on the knees. All right, so. That is gonna be a little bit, probably less muscles working because you're not standing. So if you wanna tone that muscle movement down and your knees aren't gonna bother you doing that, I would suggest the, the ground level for modified and then bring it up to your chair if you're feeling that extra activation. Going into our next movement, we have our dumb, our staggered stance Romanian deadlifts. I'm actually gonna show you with my lighter weights to warm up my muscles. The hamstrings are so tight from last week. So we're gonna do a staggered stance. So forward, I'm right here, just slightly behind, almost like we're doing a curtsy, but not quite as far. We're not gonna reach out super far, just slight, slight stance. All the weight is gonna go through this front leg. Slight bend, reaching flat back all the way down. You're gonna feel this down the side and back of your leg, and then bring it up and squeeze. All right, your foot stays behind to stabilize you and help you push a little further back into that movement. All right, you're gonna notice that you're kind of tilting towards the corner and that's exactly what you want. Big stretch in the glutes and squeeze. All right, try the other side. A little stagger stance just behind and a little bend in that front leg. Good, keep it going. I'm gonna show you that side angle. Pressing back. Notice how far I can push back towards that foot because it's stabilizing me. Big squeeze. You wanna add an extra element and you're flexible, set those weights down on the ground, and then lift them up with power. It adds a whole other element. So try one round maybe without it, and then add it if you want. Last two exercises are curtsy lunge to reverse lunge. So now that we've started it, we're gonna continue it. Curtsy lunge to the side, stretching out what we just worked, and then we're gonna come into a reverse lunge straight from there. So we're shifting using those stability muscles. If you need help with the balance, put those hands on your chair. Curtsy, lunge, lift. Adding that extra balance element, we're gonna bring that knee up. Last one, curtsy, lunge, and squeeze. All right, try the other side. Curtsy, lunge, squeeze. Curtsy, lunge, squeeze. Good stuff, last one. Curtsy, lunge, squeeze. We might get a little funky towards round two or three. Change it up, go from curtsy to lunge or lunge to curtsy. It works both ways, kind of in a little bit different way. So 
so let's change it up. Have fun with it. Last movie here with switch kicks. Here, stretching out everything that we just made very, very tight. All right, this is our burnout. We're using the core to power through, switch, switch. You're gonna feel it in those hip flexors and the low abs. All right, our 45 by 15 second split. We have three rounds. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna turn on my fan. charging issues so we're gonna put the timer over here today. Get ready for our glute bridges. Step it out and go. Lift. If you want to add some extra resistance put a weight on your hips and make this harder through the workout. Use those hands for stability if you need it. Switching leading legs in three two, switch. That's it, three, two, one, rest. Good stuff, we're going in for that dumbbell kickback. Pick a side, any side. Whether you're using a water bottle, a towel rolled up, or a weight, maybe between five and ten pounds, make sure we're getting that full rotation in the hips. Squeeze, elbow, push.
rest. Nice job, staggered stance. Romanian deadlift on the other side. Three, two, one, go. Over halfway, keep it going. Slow that pace down or drop your weight if you need to. We're really present in the hips. Three, two, one, rest. Curtsy to reverse lunge. That's glass from what I don't know. Three, two, same standing leg, go. Oops, curtsy, reverse, and lift. It's easier to do on your mat because it's outside your mat. Center, and then lift. And five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. We're going into those switch kicks. Two, one, rest. 
stay in the leg. Stretch out. The hamstring just made really tight. Ready? Three, two, one, go.
Demonstrators. Seconds.
Right leg. Push it back in that heel. Give me one more good one. And rest. All right. Two more movements and we're done. Last time with those lunges. Same standing leg. For the leg you have that lunge with. Go. Bring one leg in, then the other. 
Feel that tension increase in your hip flexors and then release. Bring it down. One leg. Both arms, if possible, trying to lift that knee off the ground. And switch sides. Right, we're gonna push it back in a child's pose. Deep breath in. Reaching those hands out, feeling that stretch of the shoulders and the chest a little bit from Monday. Okay, we're gonna check mark the right leg in, stretching through the glutes. Bring it forward. Elbows down. Bring it back, open. Trying to push chest open and the hips forward. Release. I'm gonna switch sides with that check mark. Stretching forward. Elbows down. Bring it up. Hands down, chest open, hips open. <laughs> Good. We're going to turn into a straddle position. Reaching to the side, we're going to cross it over. Swap hands to the center. And reach to the other side. Walk it back to center. Try and press a little further down than you did last time, keeping those knees and toes up towards the ceiling. Release, come into a butterfly position. Open the hips, open the chest. We're gonna reach forward, inhale. Pressing the feet together, exhale, release. Walk to the left, pushing the other knee down. Other side. We're going to come up to a standing position, stretch the back of the legs, starting with the feet together, reaching down, bend and straighten one leg at a time, so we're pedaling the feet, shift, sides of the legs stretching out, releasing tension, both legs straight, stretch down. Step the feet out using the hands as support. Not too wide, just wide enough. Stretching through. Feel that release all the way through your neck. Maybe shake your head no. Yes. Bend and straighten. And extend. Roll it up. Nice job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and service to your body. You will be able to access on-demand workouts as early as 7 a.m. on the days that we would typically do our live workouts from now on. And we will go from there. Have an awesome rest of your week, and I will see you next time.